Hi, my name is Martin Newman. I'm the chairman and the founder of a business called Practicology. We are a multi-channel consultancy. Uh, we're all retailers, so we all come from a retail background and we support our clients in different markets around the world to sell more products uh, basically through the internet and through their omni-channel uh, or their different channels of their business. We work with lots of very well-known brands, just a few of which include the likes of Ted Baker, Pandora, American Eagle, amongst others. And we have offices in London, in Hong Kong, in Guangzhou in China, and also in Sydney and Melbourne in Australia. Well, my, pres my keynote presentation today was really all about putting the customer first. Uh, retailers tend to talk about doing that, but don't really uh, deliver it. And I don't think they're really sure on what it takes to put the customer first. So uh, my, my focus was all about how do you do that? How do you take friction away from the customer journey and make it easier for customers to buy, irrespective of the channel that they want to engage with you uh, in? Uh, and, and at what point they want to buy from you. So really everything was about that, uh, how to make it easier for customers to buy, basically. There's definitely still a role for bricks and mortar stores in this day, in this day and age. Um, they are not going away anytime soon. I mean, if you take the most mature market in the world from a multi-channel point of view, which is the UK, still only 20% of total retail is conducted online. So. If you then think about Singapore and a lot of Asian markets, that percentage is much lower. So stores still play the biggest role when it comes to driving sales within the retail sector. And if you work out how to deliver a multi-channel experience, an omni-channel experience where customers might research their products online but choose to buy offline, or they might choose to click and collect, for example, where they buy online but pick their order up in store, you'll easily see that stores still have a big role to play in delivering the right experience for customers. So stores are not going away anytime soon. Retailers should definitely not be talking about channels. Uh, customers don't see channels. Uh, so retailers shouldn't be thinking in a channel context. They should be thinking in a customer context and working out how to bring all the channels and the experiences together to deliver the right experience for customers, irrespective of what channel that customer wants to engage with the retailer through. Because channels as a term in, them, in itself tends to encourage retailers to think of their business in more of a siloed way rather than a joined up customer experience. I think that there are a number of differences uh, to the retail environment in Asia. Um, first of all, customers tend to engage more frequently on mobile. Uh, so mobile is a big driver. Uh, and I think if you were launching a business in Asia now, you wouldn't even be thinking about creating a desktop experience. You'd be thinking purely about mobile and a mobile first experience. So I think mobile adoption is more significant in Asia. I think marketplaces obviously have a big part to play and, and have to be a key part of your channel strategy and routes to market. So you can't be successful, I don't think, in a... In a in a direct to consumer sense, purely going directly to consumer, you also have to think about leveraging marketplaces in order to reach consumers in Asia. So those are just two of the different ways that I think the Asian market is different from Europe. Well, I've only been here for the morning so far, but I think what I've seen of seamless retail is that it's a really well run event. I think it's a pretty good exhibition, lots of different vendors here with lots of different technologies from payments to you know, lots of web technology, in-store technology, point of sale. So I think if you're a multi-channel retailer, this is a pretty good show to come and look at potentially acquiring or procuring technology for all different channels of your business. Um, in terms of the actual conference content, obviously I delivered the keynote. My focus was all about putting the customer first. I saw the Facebook presentation, which I thought was really interesting, just to give a, a really localized understanding of how Facebook are, are engaging with customers and what customer behavior looks like, not only on Facebook, but on mobile. Again, a really big emphasis on mobile so far. Um, and just understanding how the different disruptive technologies and different disruptive vendors are faring within the market here. And I think we're starting to see a lot of disruption. Uh, but, but what we're also starting to see, I think, is that the traditional disruptors like, for example, Uber, aren't necessarily being able to get a strong foothold in the market here because there are local players like Grab 
who are maybe, you know, understand customer behavior better, being able to build their brand more effectively, uh, and although it's a similar model, are actually starting to get more traction in the market than some of the big international players. My pleasure, thanks for having me.